Throughout cinematic history, jewellery has consistently held a pivotal role, infusing scenes with elements of drama, history, and sheer beauty. Whether sparkling diamonds, vibrant rubies, or lush emeralds, the jewels adorning Hollywood stars on screen never fail to captivate. These treasures are so extraordinary that they often become central to the plot. So let's explore the most famous jewellery in movies. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. And if you wish to support me financially, you can do it via the super thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. Satin Necklace Diamonds are a girl's best friend, echoed through the decades, from Marilyn Monroe's iconic rendition, in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, to Nicole Kidman's later homage in Moulin Rouge. Directed by Baz Luhrmann, the latter film introduces us to the character Satine, portrayed by Kidman, who receives a lavish gift from the Duke of Monroth. An exquisite illuminated necklace adorned with 1,308 diamonds set in platinum, featuring a dazzling 2.5 carat sapphire clasp. Designed by Australian jeweler Stefano Canturi, this creation draws inspiration from the opulent Louis XVI era, evoking imagery of intricate lace, delicate parchments, and the resplendent bodices of the late 19th century. Among the most costly jewels ever crafted for cinema, its value is estimated to hover around $1 million, a testament to its unparalleled beauty and craftsmanship. Grace Kelly Ring When Prince Rainier III of Monaco proposed to Grace Kelly, he presented her with a stunning engagement ring adorned with rubies and emeralds. However, Kelly later opted for a more fashionable choice, upgrading to a magnificent 10.47 carat emerald cut diamond ring crafted by Cartier, flanked by two elegant baguette diamonds. Dubbed the Cartier Engagement Ring, this exquisite piece, designed by the renowned jeweler, has achieved iconic status not only for its association with Grace Kelly, but also for its timeless elegance. Kelly cherished the diamond ring, wearing it continuously after their engagement and even featuring it prominently on her character, Tracy Samantha Lord, in the film High Society. One memorable scene captures Tracy polishing her beloved diamond ring with a bedsheet, a poignant moment as it marked Kelly's final appearance on the silver screen. Tucson Necklace In Ocean's Eight, Sandra Bullock leads a crew of effortlessly stylish thieves who target a priceless necklace adorning Anne Hathaway at the Met Gala, the Cartier Tucson. This replica, tailored to the actress's proportions, pays homage to the original jewel crafted by Jacques Cartier in 1931 for the Maharaja of Nawanagar. Described as the most beautiful cascade of colored diamonds in the world, the original piece boasted pink and white diamonds, a remarkable 12-carat olive green diamond, and the legendary 136.25-carat blue-white diamond known as the Queen of Holland. Tragically, this stunning creation vanished along with the Maharaja following his exile. Ribbon Rosette Necklace The collaboration between Tiffany & Co. and Jean Schlumberger commenced in 1956, sparked by an invitation extended by Walter Hoving, then chairman of Tiffany & Co., inviting Schlumberger to join the company as vice president. In the following year, Schlumberger was entrusted with a remarkable task, to set the largest yellow diamond in existence at the time, the extraordinary 128.54 carat Tiffany yellow diamond. The culmination of his efforts was the creation of the iconic ribbon rosette diamond necklace, unveiled in 1961 
and adorning the neck of none other than Audrey Hepburn that same year. While Audrey Hepburn didn't sport any Tiffany & Co jewellery in the film Breakfast at Tiffany's, an ironic twist, she did grace the promotional campaign for the movie wearing the exquisite ribbon rosette necklace. Crafted from platinum, yellow gold, and an array of diamonds, the necklace features one of the world's largest and most magnificent yellow diamonds as its centerpiece. Ruby Necklace In the enchanting modern fairy tale of Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts discovers not only love and a wardrobe filled with glamorous evening dresses and elegant attire, but also a stunning necklace. Adorned with 23 pier-cut rubies nestled within diamond-encrusted hearts, all set in 18-carat white gold, this precious necklace was crafted specifically for the film by French goldsmith Fred Joyer. During a pivotal scene in the movie, Vivian, the character portrayed by Roberts, inquires about the price tag of the necklace, learning it to be $250,000. However, following the film's release, its value soared to an estimated range of $400,000 to $1 million, considering its iconic status as a piece from the beloved movie. Despite its style possibly being slightly outdated by today's standards, experts now value the necklace at approximately $1.35 million. The Heart of the Ocean The Heart of the Ocean stands as a legendary jewel in contemporary cinema lore. In James Cameron's iconic film, it's whispered that this necklace, gifted to Rose by her paramour, once graced the neck of the King of France, Louis XVI. However, this tale is purely fictional. During filming, Kate Winslet adorned a replica crafted by London jewellers Asprey and Garrard, drawing inspiration from three renowned diamonds of French royal history, the Regent, Marie Antoinette Blue, and the Hope Diamond. None of these gems ever sailed aboard the transatlantic vessel. Throughout the years, numerous replicas of the heart of the ocean have been created. Among the most notable is the exquisite version worn by Celine Dion at the 1998 Oscars while performing My Heart Will Go On. This rendition boasted a breathtaking 170 carat sapphire pendant encircled by 65 round diamonds, fetching a staggering $2.2 million at auction. Moon of Baroda In a scene etched in cinematic history from gentlemen prefer blondes, Marilyn Monroe, draped in pink satin, serenades to the tune of diamonds, are a girl's best friends. While surrounded by a throng of men bedecking her in dazzling yet, alas, fox jewelry. The true gem, the Moon of Baroda, graced the actress's presence solely during the movie's promotional campaign. This pear-shaped canary yellow diamond traces its origins to the mines of Golconda, India, where it remained under the possession of the Gekwad dynasty for over five centuries until bestowed upon Empress Maria Theresa of Habsburg by the Maharaja of Baroda. In 2018, this illustrious gem fetched a staggering $1.3 million at auction. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.